Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another two minute Tuesday. Today I'm gonna to show you a tip on how to figure out what your rear differential gear ratio is. I guess you could do this on the front too. Perhaps you wondered what your gear ratio is in your vehicle, or you just purchased a vehicle that you don't know what the gear ratio is and you wanna figure out what it is. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick tip or a trick on how to figure that out. This isn't the most precise method, but it is definitely gonna put you in a very close ballpark so that you will have an idea of about where about your gear ratio is. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to jack the vehicle up. So we lifted the vehicle up, we put it on jack stands, and I actually shoved a towel underneath the tire on the opposite side because this is an open diff, so it's gonna to wanna to spin since I got both of those tires off. We put the vehicle in neutral, and now what we're gonna do is we are gonna mark on the fender here with some blue tape. I'm gonna go straight down to the tire. Then we'll rip it apart. It stays, and we'll just mark it there and there. So this is gonna be our mark on our tire. It's got dirty tires, it's not sticking. Now we're gonna do the same thing underneath on the drive shaft. So I'm gonna pull out a bunch of blue tape and I'm gonna wrap it around the drive shaft. It doesn't have to be too precise, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a little flaggy thing straight down. So that's gonna be our other marker. So now we got a marker on the tire and we got a marker here on the drive shaft. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spin the tire 10 times. That's gonna be the math. We're also, I've got a camera rolling on the lower side on the drive shaft and we're gonna count how many times that drive shaft's gonna go around. We'll probably do that on, on post. So we're gonna concentrate right here for right now. We're gonna count 10 times. So that's one. That's two, that's three. So this blue tape here, the flag that we made, made that was straight down is now pretty much straight up. So that's a half mark. So when we do our math, we're gonna count that out and that's gonna be that extra half. All right, so don't freak out, but here's where the math comes in. And it's actually pretty simple math, all in all. So what we did is we rotated the tire 10 times. So the tire, was 10 times, right? And then the drive shaft rotated. Oh, my lights just turned off. The drive shaft rotated 20.5 times, 20 times and one half. So the drive shaft was 20.5. So because we are running, we only spun one tire and you do spin two tires when you're going, um, you have to double this. So this is times two. So this is gonna be a 41 so 20.5 times 2 41 so that's a 4 point or a 41 but because of the 10x what we do is we actually are going to move that decimal point over here so that is going to be a 4.10 gear ratio i hope you love that trick thanks for watching hammer down on that subscribe button which will be over this area and leave a comment and let me know if there's any other tips or tricks that you would like to see and don't forget Keep crawling.